Yo, what is good, YouTube? Well, it's your boy Ty's brother, actually, today. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ty had surgery on his tonsil, so he's gonna be opening the packs, but my, uh, I'm his brother, Nate, and so I'll be kind of doing the talking here and helping him out. First off, I'd like to thank my boy Ned for, for letting us hop on his account here to, to open some packs. So as you can see here, we got some new players, including Clay Thompson, Dirk, uh, I'm not very high on Dirk, but Tracy McGrady, who is going to be elite, Larry Johnson, who looks pretty good. Wes Unseld, who looks really good. His pink diamond at the start of the year was good. Uh, Evo Rod Strickland, and then Ryan Anderson Diamond, and Zuki, who looks like he could be a decent budget card as well in these packs. So overall, th these are these look like some pretty good packs here. So we're gonna be opening up 900K worth of packs here, and then as we go along, or at the end of the video, I'll kind of talk about how much MT. I, I think we made and how good these packs actually are. So uh, let's get right into it. 135K for all, for all 20 packs here for a whole box so let's just hope we get something good usually we don't get anything here we start out with a diamond we'll have to, we'll have to look and see if these packs are guaranteed I think so probably but we're not sure we'll start out with a diamond ryan anderson don't think this card's gonna be that good offensively he looks like he'll be a good shooter but his defensive stats leave a lot to be desired not guaranteed never mind it looks like they're not guaranteed absolutely nothing there as I said before, 135k BC, so that's equivalent to about like $33 or so, about one about one third of $100 worth of VC, give or take a little bit. Diamond, but it's not even a player. Oh wait, yeah, it is. It's just a, it's a double pack. That's what it is. Ryan Anderson, another one. Not what we're looking for. He actually looks like the worst card in the whole set. I'd rather have the i definitely rather have the zoo key than him, but as I mentioned, like all the pink diamonds and the opals basically look pretty good. So if you get one of those cards, you're probably going to be getting at least something here. Amethyst. Th this is something I wish they would honestly get rid of because usually amethyst nowadays, they're so outdated that we don't need this whole big, I don't even know what you call it, like the big showcase when they open the card where it takes like 20 seconds. Like it's just another one just like this especially when half the time it's a current player like this right here Trey Young I assume yep Trey Young it's stuff like that that just they, they need to take out of the game at this point a double diamond pack okay one of them was a contract so this is a, probably another Ryan Anderson I would yep yeah, Ryan Anderson so Ryan Anderson must be the most common card Last pack cheese? Nope. So in that whole box we pulled, I think three Ryan and oh yep. So we got three Ryan Andersons there. One uh, Trey Young. So I mean, and Trey Young's not worth anything. Ryan Anderson's not gonna be worth anything. So just honestly, in that pack itself, we probably pulled maybe 40k MT back. I mean, that's only that that's that's if you sell everything. I mean. Yeah, by quick selling stuff, you're not gonna make even that much. If you do pull one of the opals or pink diamonds, you're probably gonna make it back, one of the good ones, which is basically they're all good, so. Definitely the worst though, in my opinion, is Dirk, just because Dirk, his release is always just not, not upper echelon, he's always not very good on defense. He's not gonna have good dribble sig, so. He just feels clunky too. I mean, maybe this card will be different, but. He definitely, just compared to the other cards, didn't, didn't look quite as good. And then Rod Strickland's just short. But as you can see there, we pull our first Zuki, who is definitely a, a probably looking like a good budget card. Another diamond here, another Ryan Anderson, I'm assuming. Unless we get a current player, and it will be a Steph Curry. I assume, yep, Steph, Steph Curry here. The, I, I heard that the odds were actually decent yesterday. I mean, obviously still, they weren't probably good. Oh, here we go. A pink diamond. Please be Wes Unseld. I assume he's the best, right? Yes, and Wes Unseld. And the reason why this Wes Unseld's so good is because his release, even at the start of the game, is very, very good. Oh, whack. Never mind. We have been, we have been just. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. I forgot about the Rod Strickland. Definitely not what we're looking for. I mean, maybe if you evil him, he'll be okay. But at the end of the day, he's 6'3". And at, at this point of the game where we're at, if you're 6'3 and a point guard, you, you're like, honestly, like at this point, you're just unplayable. As you saw, we just pulled another Ryan Anderson. It looks like we're going to pull another Ryan Anderson. 
Yeah, there's no way this Ryan Anderson's gonna be above quick sell value, guys. Come on, let's get something for my boy Ned. 40, 40 packs down, two total boxes, and we have literally pulled maybe 50K. If you sell everything, you're looking at maybe like 70K, but that's an MT, but you're spending 270K VC, which is equivalent to like a little over $50. So to get 70K MT for $50 is absolutely atrocious. Oh, we're going into some singles here. It looks like Ty wants to go into some singles. He's the one we're actually ripping the packs and I'm just kind of sitting alongside him. I don't think anyone really saw that these, I mean, I saw a lot of people guessing Paul Drew, a lot of people guessing Kawhi Leonard for what was gonna be in these packs. I don't really think anyone thought these would be the players in the packs, but that's that's definitely a game changer, Team Echo Point Guard, especially if you can pull that card. If you can pull that card, I think that's the biggest thing with these packs is if you can pull that T-Mac card, you're going to be sitting really, really good. But I'm sure the odds for him are just going to be like the LeBron odds were when he first dropped the point guard LeBron. Let's see what we get here. Looks like it's probably going to be a Zouchi. Another Zouchi here. These look like some of the worst odds all year so far. I mean, just as far as your percentage to actually pull like a higher tiered card. And then when you do, you know, like we, when we pulled, we pulled, it was Rod Strickland. So we're, we're, we're winding down this third box here, getting into about, let me think, like 400K VC down the drain, almost $100. And all we had to show for it so far is 35 Ryan Andersons, it seems like, a couple of Zao Cheese and the Pink Diamond Rod Strickland. So hopefully we can get something out of these last four four packs I think we got left but I would honestly or two packs on this actually I highly actually doubt we'll get something though last pack <gasps> let's go last pack cheese come on what is the sixth the 60th pack this is crazy I would never expect this so what are what are our options here we got the clay right Tracy and dirt honestly I wouldn't I wouldn't be against the clay if it's a Dirk, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. Like just because Clay and T Mac are probably worth. I mean, you're looking at Clay at least a couple hundred k. T Mac's gonna be worth like, I would assume like 800k at this point, or probably more than that. And Dirk's just not good. So come on, T Mac or Clay. I'll be happy with Clay too. Let's go. Let's go. Rip this tie. Rip this. Rip this. Come on, please, 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 please. Give my Ned boy Ned something. Okay, Clay. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's definitely not bad. We'll take a Clay Thompson. Let's go. We'll definitely take that. So honestly, just with that pull right there, we probably made our we probably made our um, our MT back in BC. This is definitely a very very good pull. Clay is definitely going to be an elite shooting guard, a, a, a two way player. He's probably definitely not going to be a guy that can bring the ball up the court at a high level. But if you're just looking for a three and D guy, Kawhi type guy at your shooting guard position, we Clay Thompson is going to be perfect for that. So it's definitely a good pull. I can't believe we got him right. Right on that, on that last pack, their last pack cheese. So we've definitely actually made our MT back by now. The thing with packs is if you pull one of the elite guys, like I said, you can make, I mean, like, like just like what we did there, it was our 60th pack, but that one pack made back all of our MT that, or all of the VC that, that we lost spending it on packs. And, you know, we probably made it back our money in MT. All right, getting into the fourth pack or fourth box here. Hopefully we can stay hot. Hopefully we can stay hot. You know, get another Galaxy Opal pull here. Yeah, see, this has been a dud. We haven't even pulled the, uh, we haven't even pulled Ryan Anderson out of this. Oh, here we go, a pink diamond. Okay, we might be starting to heat up. So anybody but Rod Strickland here. Oh, this time I won't get trolled by the by the Wizards logo though, because it could still be Strickland. I'm not sure if there's anyone else outside on sale. Come on, give me on sale, on sale, on sale, on sale. They're both point guards, right? They're both. This is him. This is on sale. Let's go. Another great pull. This West Unsettled card is, is going to be one of the best pink diamonds in the game, probably. I don't know about his dribble six. That can hold him back at point guard. But even if he doesn't have good dribble six and you run like an, like an Opal T-Mac or someone at shooting guard who can dribble, he can definitely fill in. Or you can even play him at shooting guard because Unsettled would probably be a very, very... That might honestly be his best position as shooting guard. 
because he's still got good height and he, he's every stat he has is like over a 90 which is absolutely insane oh i thought that was gonna be a galaxy opal at first so um uh, just to, just with that box i mean it depends how much what's unsell goes for but i would say we we probably i bet he goes for about 100k did you say that's right i bet he go, he's gonna go for about 100k if, was, if he had a different name and his name wasn't west unsell he'd probably go for more because I, I i think he's gonna be a fairly decent card as you can see here, if you complete all five of these and get all five of these players, you get 200 tokens. So you might be like, oh, 200 tokens. Like, I don't really want that. So if I pull these cards, I don't really care. But you got to remember, other people will want it. So if you do want to sell one of these players, especially this Clay Thompson, he's going to be he's going to be very, very rare to pull probably. If you put him on, up in the auction house, it's going to, I mean, people are going to want it because it's Clay Thompson. But it's also going to make his price skyrocket. Because people will want to be like, oh, I want to complete this set so I can get the token, so I can get the D-Rob sets he's update or whoever else they want or new token markets come, uh, updates coming so that's definitely big and then uh, some of these other guys aren't, aren't necessarily in the set i mean that doesn't mean wow t-mac is going for a crazy i mean obviously it's the start of ones but it's gonna he's gonna be going for an insane amount oh another pink diamond let's go so I think this either has to be Rod Strickland or Wes Unsell. Could be a current player. Uh, could be a current player. Come on. Or, another Wes Unsell. Larry Johnson. Another, oh, Larry Johnson. We need him. Larry Johnson's unsell, good too. Unsell, another Unsell. 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 Come on, another Unsell. Another Unsell. No. Dang it, Rod Strickland. What I will say about Zao Cheese, if you do pull this card, I would just, if you pull a bunch of them, maybe just hold on to him because he might, oh, another Amethyst. He, he might, you know, when, when, a few weeks after packs are out or packs are gone, he might become a, a little bit of a rare card. And a lot of budget players might want to run this out cheat card. So it looks like another Ryan Anderson here. Can shoot threes too. Yep, Ryan Anderson. As we are writing down our fourth box, is that right? Fourth box here. So we'll be creeping up a little over 500k VC. Like I mentioned before, depending on Clay's price, I mean. This is probably, I mean, not not the worst. I mean, I'd say I would bet, bet that Ned's probably made about 400k uh, MT, maybe a little, maybe even a little bit more than that from these packs. So uh, definitely not too bad for it. But like, but like I was saying, without the clay pull, I mean, it's all it's all dependent on those big pulls and lose with any pack opening. But yeah, just to, with that box day, 135k VC, and you're probably making about 60k back if you do sell everything. If not, you're looking at maybe 45 or. 50k will be the last box we're able to pull here and then maybe we'll get into some singles after this not sure i would just say to sell the opal dirt because there's gonna be better cards for his price as we get a double amethyst pack here this looks like it'll be the zao chi yep another zao chi oh we get a pink diamond here come on larry johnson larry johnson larry uh, Okay, if we can get an unsell, don't be Rod Strickland. Don't be Rod Strickland. Oh, another Rod Strickland. I figured he would be the most, the most common guy to pull though. Union Baines, not what we're looking for. Last pack, cheese. No. But are we gonna move? Be moving on. Yep, we're gonna be moving on to some single packs here. So in this box, in this box, it looks like we probably made, like I said, kind of like the other ones, probably about. I don't. I. I really don't even know if we made 60k because I think that Rod Strickland is gonna be more common than I think. I think it's probably more like 40, 50k if you sell everything, and if you quick sell everything, you're probably looking at 30k. Moving into some singles here. See what we can get. Donovan Mitchell there in the first pack. We got about 10 packs left or so. Maybe I think that's that's what it was about. Sabonis, and we're here at down to our final pack for my boy Ned. So let's. Get this going, come on. Last pack of this, wow. And we get a Jay Crowder. So guys, that's gonna do it for the pack opening here. Uh, thanks again to Ned for letting us hop on his account. As I mentioned before, Ty was opening the packs, I was talking. We didn't start out good. You know, we were pulling rods, uh, we pulled a couple rods, tricklings, a bunch of Ryan Anderson, Zao Cheese. And then about 400K VC, we pulled the clay. So we, we had about made back our money after we pulled that clay, Thompson. But then to end it, it just it, we pulled the West Unsold right after that too, and, and we were, we were sitting pretty good on what we made back. We made back about what we spent, and then the last half of it was just was just awful. So I would say overall we probably made if I had, if I had to guess we probably made a little over 500k MT back from the VC we pulled. So 
if uh, that just goes to show if you pull about two hundred dollars worth you're gonna make about 100 or 500 k vc back or 500 k mt back excuse me in 1 million vc so overall these odds are definitely still not worth it but they are better these odds are better than some of the packs that have been in the market recently hopefully you enjoyed the pack opening if you pulled packs let us know what you ripped down below in the comments make sure to give a like on the video and subscribe if you are new appreciate you all stopping by and have a blessed day